Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, who saw Laser Friday video of the awesome world map that I made? It's super cool. Now, some of you were like, hey, New Zealand's not there, and hey, this country's Tas Tasmania, or I, I don't know, like there are, there are a couple of places missing. I didn't make the file, I buy the file, um, and then I execute it. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of places, countries missing. Um, so don't come after me for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I still think it's pretty cool. And uh, I love it. And if you haven't seen the video, check it out. It's the last video I posted. Um, and so yeah, I said Laser Fridays. And a lot of you are really interested in seeing more of this woodworking. I might end up throwing a video in midweek because I'm working on a lot of projects right now. And if I only posted one every week, then I would fall behind. Um, I've already got commissions to do. I'm super excited. I've got this super cute horse I have to do for someone's granddaughter. Um, and then I have this super cool Phoenix I'm gonna be doing. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. Commissions are open um, for my woodworking projects. Um, if you are interested in something or have a thought or an idea of something you'd like me to make for you, you can, of course, just email me at canelosoraco at gmail.com. Wood rounds. Okay, I feel the need to have to say this. And um, you may have already gotten an email from me because you guys are watching this on Sunday. I may have sent an email out um, on Saturday, but... If you are part of my wood mailing list, you may have gotten or will be getting very, very soon an email from me um, regarding opening up the orders for blank wood rounds. Now, I just, I really need to say this because I just don't want people's expectations to be like, you know, um, when I used to get wood rounds before for you guys, I had someone else cutting them for me. I would place the order with Serena, a friend of mine. She would go get the materials, get them cut, cut all the wood rounds, do all the labor and all the work for me. And all I had to do was just drive over to her, pick them up, you know, two hour drive, but still drive over to her, pick them up, and then I would pack everything up for all the orders and ship them out to you guys. This time, however, it is different because I'm doing it which means I have to go to Home Depot or Rona, which is the sister of Lowe's, um, and I have to go, I have to get the wood, I have to get the workers at Home Depot or Rona to cut the wood for me because it doesn't fit in my car, a big 48 by 48 sheet. So they need to cut it into the sizes that I tell them. I need to bring it home, I need to actually cut them on the laser, and then once it's all cut, I will then, you know, pack them up each order and ship them out to you. So by me doing it means there's a lot more legwork, a lot more time. You know, I have to put the stuff on the machine and it's got to go in sheet by sheet. Um, and, you know, I have to sit and baby the sit at the machine. You can never walk away from the machine when it's cutting and in progress because what if something happens and a fire catches? Like, I mean, it is a laser with fire. So, you know... It is very time consuming. It's going to be very time consuming. My time to drive to the hardware stores and get wood is time consuming. So you are going to have to be extremely patient with me. Um, orders will be fulfilled in order of how I get my emails. So if you were the first person to send me an email, you are going to be my first order and so on and so forth. But you know, turnaround time, I'm going to say a month before by the time you place your order. But, you know, if you're the 30th person to place an order, it could take up to two months. I don't know. I've never done this before. Okay. So you're just going to really have to bear with me. Um, the second I start your order, I will shoot you off an email and say, hey, Kathy, um, I've just started your order. So you kind of know that I'm working on it and when you can expect it. But you really, really have to be patient with me. If you can't be patient with me, then I suggest don't place any orders for rounds. Like, I mean, some orders might be super small. Hey, I want 10 rounds, no problem. But I've had people order 100 rounds and 100 coasters and 100 this. So, 
depending on the order, I can't really specifically tell you what the turnaround time is going to be. You know, also materials. Um, you know, I could clean out Home Depot and clear out their their um, stock of the wood that I buy, and then I have to wait for it to come back in stock. Um, for the last two weeks, Home Depot's cutting machine has actually been out of service. Um, so I haven't been able to go to my local Home Depot five minutes away. I have to drive to the Home Depot that's 30 minutes away um, at the other end of London. So there are all these factors that play a role into how long it will take me to fulfill your orders, okay? And again, because I'm doing all the legwork this time, the driving, the cutting, all of that, the price of wood rounds will go up from what you're used to. So if you are a um, previous wood purchaser and you've bought wood rounds from me last year and the year before and the year before that or whatever, I will tell you now the price is going to go up because not only am I doing all the legwork now, but the price of wood has also gone up. So please keep that in mind before placing an order that you need to be patient with me. You, um, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to get your order. Again, depending, you could be order number two, you could be order number 32. I don't know. Um, and then of course the price increase a little bit. Okay. So please keep that in mind and, and be nice. Um, all right. So that's it for wood orders, uh, workshops. I still have some spots left here in my home studio. If you want to come and learn with me here in London, Ontario, there's five spots available per class. I'm teaching four classes. I'm teaching a bloom class, a resin top coating class, and two blowout classes, one on a normal canvas size and large canvas size. So if you want to come and learn with me here in London, Ontario, uh, April 27th and 28th, okay? Email me, canalastaracco at gmail.com. There is about, I don't know, six weeks left for Asheville, North Carolina. If you want to come and see me in Asheville, North Carolina, that is happening May 23rd to the 25th. I will be doing it uh, Fluid Art Experience with a bunch of other YouTube artists who will also be there as well. For information on that event, you can go to www fluidartexperience.com and lastly I will be in Fort Myers Florida with Kathleen from Cause Creations and I we will be there July 13th and 14th and if you want information on that event you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com okay so three events happening um, you know, it's going to be a busy summer. So, and then last but not least, let me show you guys the dried results of my failed experiment with Australian flow trial cell activator. Um, but it's still a beautiful blue painting. It didn't dry any differently. Um, I don't really see much of a difference. Um, but yeah, no, I don't see much of a difference. Now, I did have some thoughts and some opinions and tips from you guys in the comments and I may try in an upcoming video where I will do the same thing but instead of putting my cell activator on top of all my colors, I will put it on a palette knife and swipe my way across um, after I blow it out. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but uh, you know, more experiments to come but for right now I'm like super duper busy with my lasering and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, I still do want to try and experiment. But this is a 14 by 18 inch canvas and it is available for purchase. It still needs a top coat of crystal resin. And speaking of crystal resin, don't forget, if you did not see two videos ago, uh, there is a huge crystal resin sale happening with brand new casting resin that they've got going on. It is a new product, um, crystalresin.com and it is on sale, plus you can save an additional 15% off the sale price using code CANELA15. And if you spend more than $50, it is free shipping within Canada in the US. All right, and keeping in mind the prices are in Canadian. So if you are in the US and you buy crystal resin, it is actually cheaper for you due to the lovely exchange rate. So keep that in mind. The sale was only for 10 days, so I think there's about seven or six days left, something like that. So if you want to try some casting resin, now is your chance, head on over to the website. 
Everything I just mentioned to you, classes, resin, all of that is listed in the description below with links, emails, discount codes, and all of that. So check the description below. All right, I'm done talking. Today is commission day. I've got to work on a commission for a client. Um, so let's get started. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So uh, as I mentioned, working on a commission piece for my client, um, and this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas, and I haven't done a color split base in a long time. It has been a long time, so I am super excited to work on this color split base. So my base colors are going to be Oxide Black and Titanium White by Amsterdam. Those are my base colors. Um, and then I have my colors here chosen by the client. She sent me some pictures of her home decor, some couch cushions, and she's got some greens and turquoisey blues and yellows in there. So that is what we are doing today. Uh, if you want to know how I mix my paints, including the base paint, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. Full video tutorial on how I mix my paints. All right, colors we are using today are Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Then we have Silver by, I have Silver by Arteza, but I kind of like, I wonder if I should do Silver by Pebeo or Iridescent Silver. Yeah, I like Pebeo. I'm going to put that back. Let's put that back. Where's, oh, it's like, where does it go? Okay, so let's start again. Um, iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Then we have Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. Then we have Persian Rose by Amsterdam. Then we have Pearl Canary Yellow by Arteza. And then topping it off, we have Thalo Blue Turquoise by Amsterdam, but it is the Expert Series, okay? So those are the colors of today's painting. It should be very interesting to see how that pans out. All right, so I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, canvas flooded. This always takes so much longer because it's a double base split. All right, everything's good to go. So let's get started. Of course, I'm just going to basically follow my line here like so. Now, what I wanted to tell you guys is Friday, <clears throat> this past Friday, was Echo's birthday. My little Echo turned four. Uh, Juno turned five last month, but Echo turned four on Friday. Super cute. I did a little video montage on Instagram and Facebook. Super cute. And then um, I got my new machine. There was a new machine I was waiting for, um, for my woodworking workshop in the garage and um, I finally got it on Wednesday or Thursday I can't remember but it is a machine that sucks up all the bad fumes and smells so it's a filter it's from filter box and I did an unboxing video you may have seen it on Instagram or Facebook but I will actually try to remember to post it at the end of this video so you guys can see uh, A, the unboxing and the machine itself. And then I am also going to try to remember to give you guys a little tour of my new workshop. Now it is fully set up. I have everything I need 
my desk, my laser, my filter system. So yeah, um, I'm all set up and ready to go. So it's time to give you guys a little tour. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I shall give you guys a tour of my workshop. All right, pop the bubbles. And I hope, I really, really hope I did not overdo it on the paint because as you can tell, I kind of went twice, but I want to make sure there's enough paint for me to blow out. And I want to make sure all the colors really show up and don't get lost. Cross your fingers. Let's go. I can honestly say I nailed this one in terms of blowout and the colors that the client wanted. I got the yellow, I got the turquoise. This turned out so much better than I had expected. I've got the pink throughout. This is perfect. You know, doing commission pieces makes me so nervous um, because, you know, you just, it's a commission. And there's a lot on the line. There's a lot riding on it. And you got to make sure you do it right and that the client loves it. Um, and, you know, I have been fortunate enough and lucky enough. Now, I don't want to jinx myself, knock on wood. <laughs> but I have been fortunate and lucky enough that um, throughout my five years of doing art, uh, I have never done a commission where a client said, I don't like it, do it again. Um you know, Heather, don't prove me wrong. <laughs> no pressure. But no, seriously, though, um, I think I nailed this. I think this turned out so perfectly. I'm super stoked. All the colors are here. I see the yellow. I see the pink. I see the turquoise. You know, this is amazing. And I'm literally not touching anything. I'm loving the yellow cells in here. I don't think I want to touch anything on here, to be honest with you. Wow, it's been so long since I've done a color split, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to touch up my edges with the black and the white, 
and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape the drips, okay? Do all four sides, super important. Do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and you might need a third time, but it's super duper important because the paint is being pulled off the edge because of the drips under here. So if you pull the drips and scrape them off, there's less pull happening. So you won't, you know, your composition won't ruin. So that is the point of doing that. And oh my goodness, you guys, I'm telling you, I love doing commissions because sometimes my clients come up with these like super wacky colors that I would never think to put together. I would have never thought these greens and yellows and pink. The pink threw me off. But boy, oh boy, am I loving this piece. And the color split. It's been so long since I've done a color split. And I'm so happy with how this looks. I love the yellow throughout. I'm loving the yellow cells, these little yellow cells here. And the fact that the pink didn't disappear, I'm extremely thrilled. Now let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so the flash is on. It's pretty dark outside. It is a cloudy day. Um, it is so windy outside. Yesterday and today have been like the windiest days I have ever experienced here in London. And I, I swear, I feel like my house is going to blow away like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I cannot even begin to tell you how windy it is here. It's actually, last night I went to bed and just listening to the wind blowing around and the whistling noises and just the windows and everything shaking, it was quite creepy, let me tell you. It's times like this I'm thrilled to have my dogs at home, um, you know, here to protect me when uh, when I'm all alone. I tell you, it was pretty creepy listening to that. Anywho, aside from that, look at the shimmer. It's so pretty. I love this. Absolutely love, 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 love this. And there you have it, my friends. Um, I'm super thrilled. I like could not be happier with this piece. I love the way it turned out. And I'm really missing the black and white splits. Kind of makes me want to start doing a new uh, series of black and white, but I shouldn't because I have so many other things on the go. I have so many things going on. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, Heather, I hope you're watching. I hope you love it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you are interested in commissioning a piece of your own, please email me. Again, don't forget, uh, three different places I am teaching classes. I'm here in London, Ontario, Asheville, North Carolina, and Florida, Fort Myers. All right, so I'm going to sign off from here, but I'm going to take you guys into the woodworking workshop. Say that fast, woodworking workshop, and I will give you guys a tour. So let's go.
Alrighty, so um, I can't go further back because my car's in the way. <laughs> but let me start off by showing you guys this super cool workstation my father made for me. I love my dad. He's the best. Um, he made this table. Um, so I've got storage underneath. I got my chair off Amazon. I've got my screen here. I just hooked my computer up to it. Um, so this actually is something new. I haven't showed you guys. Um, it's our Tornado 1000, which actually sucks up dust when I'm going to be working on carving and sanding and etching pieces, which I haven't started yet. You know, I'm still gonna, you know, learning in progress, but yes, I did purchase this Tornado from Bear Woods uh, Supply Company. Um, that's where I get my sculpted panels from, my clock kits from. If you are a longtime viewer, that is where this machine is from. So I can't wait to use it. Um, my dad built me a top shelf. This is where I store all my wood. So this is the stuff I'm telling you about where I have to go to Home Depot. This comes in a 48 by 48 inch sheet. And then I got to get them to cut it down to size that would fit in my laser. So, you know, um, they don't let you cut too many at one time. And then after a certain amount of cuts, they start charging you a dollar per cut, uh, which is insane, but I get it because they're not just gonna sit there and spend an hour cutting, you know, 20 sheets of, you know, 48 by 48 for me, but you know. So yeah, again, this is, let me hear back up here. So that is what my dad built for me. I love it. And then of course I've got my, you know, board back here, my pegboard with some tools and stuff. And then of course the beautiful Mira 7 from Aeon Laser. I love this thing. You can see I've already cut quite a few things on here. Um, but yeah, look at that. I'll actually, let me turn it on for you guys. So super cool, I love this thing. I'm so excited to have my mirror laser. There it goes, it's uh, calibrating and resetting itself or doing whatever it is it does. <laughs> and then this is what I got uh, the other day. This is my Expandex One Filtra box. So this now sucks up all the fumes from the machine because let me tell you, it sucks up. This thing smells between cutting wood. I haven't cut acrylic yet, but you know, I can cut acrylic and the fumes are strong. So this has three different filters in it. It's got a HEPA filter, a regular filter and a carbon filter, I believe. So I'm so glad for that because I actually had the hose going all the way across and then I would open my garage door like six inches and vent out the that outside and you could still smell it. Like on a windy day, the wind would bring the smell back in of burnt wood and stuff like that. So I'm um, super glad that I have my new filter box, um, you know, cause now I don't have to vent to the outside world. I can keep my garage door closed if it's a rainy or cold day in the winter. But yeah, this is my space. I've got my tripod, which records everything now that I'm gonna be working on. Um, I have a super cool project I just finished, which you guys are gonna see uh, sometime this week, actually. Could be Monday, could be Tuesday. Um, so stay tuned for yet another laser video. But um, I'm super stoked. This is my workshop. This is my space. I love it. You know, thanks dad, you're the best for building this for me. And you know, I get to sit and work and you know, there's a bunch of stuff that I still have to show you guys, um, you know. But yeah, there you be, there she be. There it is, my second workshop. So as much as I love doing my acrylic pouring, I'm super, super stoked about this whole new venture so again if you have any um you know projects or something a commission you want me to work on a dog this cats uh giraffes elephants um i can make these super cool projects um you know 
just kind of like I made the map with like six layers, five, six layers, paint it, yada, yada, you know, just let me know. And I'll let you know if I can or cannot do it, you know? So that's it. I'm going to sign off from in the garage this time. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, tour of my new workspace. Um, please comment below. I love reading all your comments. Um, and until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.